I want to talk about a very important topic which is frequently misunderstood and this is basically about occlusal reduction. Now you may have heard in dental school that you need to have certain amounts of occlusal reduction for certain materials. So let's look at what that is. So you may have heard certain values like, you know, a PFM would require maybe uh, 1.5 to 2 millimeters of reduction. Uh, if you're doing an Emacs crown, you would probably need about 1.5 millimeters. If you're doing a metal crown, you would need about 0.5 millimeters, so on and so forth. So they keep teaching you these concepts and they say that this is the amount of reduction required of a tooth. Now this concept by itself is technically incorrect and let me explain why. So those values make sense if you are talking about occlusion which you are dependent on the opposing tooth. So let's say we wanted to uh, restore this particular tooth. Let's call it number 7. We would then reduce for a PFM. We would reduce to this much and of course we would make sure that this face is about 1.5 to 2 millimeters. Right? So that's, that's how we were taught. So this is applicable. This 1.5 to 2 millimeters is applicable in this situation only. But what about in another situation? Let's say we are missing number 7 on the maxilla, you have number 6, you have number 5, and on the mandible you have 7, you have 6, you have 5, and you were doing, well this tooth is not there, so let me get that out of the way. So you're doing a bridge prep. So this is going to be here. Now, okay, so for a PFM, you would still do 1.5 to 2 millimeters of reduction over here for this particular tooth. But this tooth, which doesn't have an opposing, barely needs any reduction at all. You could probably get away with about 1 millimeter of reduction over here because there is no opposing occlusion over here. Now, let's talk about a full mouth rehabilitation. Let's say we had a lot of wear on this case. There's a lot of attrition and we have a lot of restorative space. So this is what you would call a Turner and Miscellian class 1 or a type 1. In such a situation, you barely need any occlusal reduction at all because the teeth are kind of flattened down like this and we know that the vertical dimension of occlusion is going to be here and all you need to do is build up the teeth to come into occlusion over here. So you hardly need any level of occlusal reduction at all. So always keep an eye on exactly what you're doing and what is the opposing before you decide to cut away at that enamel and that dentine to make space for your restorative material. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.